that hard to work with because remember, dates are stored as what, everybody? They're stored as numbers. Remember, a date is really a number dressed up as a date, okay? So I just wanna give you a little bit more information around dates and times. All right, so everybody, um, so remember, dates are stored as numbers. Uh, to be more specific, and feel free to write this down if you wish, are stored as floating point uh, numbers up to 15 decimal places. Okay, and recall, does anybody recall what January 1st, 1900 is stored as? Yes, yay, <laughs> okay, yes, it's number one, which means that number zero is what? Dece it's the day before, December 31st, 1899 is stored as zero. So that's called, sometimes called the base date. And anything before that becomes a negative number. And if you're curious, the oldest date that Axis can recognize is January 1st, 100 AD. <laughs> and that number, let me just expand this, okay, is negative, and I wrote this down, I didn't memorize it, 657,434, negative, okay. And on the opposite end, the oldest date it will recognize is December 31st, 9999. AD. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going to be happening with us by that time, but yeah. <laughs> okay. So that is positive 2,958,465. Okay. So that's your date range. Okay. Plenty enough for the average user. Now, as for times, okay, times are stored as fractions. Decimal, okay? So if we were to take zero, 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 so hours, minutes, seconds, this is equivalent to what, 12 a.m., okay? This is stored, whoops, this is stored as point zero, okay? Yeah. And then if we have 23, 59, 59, which is 11, 59, PM, okay, that is stored as 0.99999, okay. And then there's all the seconds, minutes, and hours in between, right? And the decimal places can be, get really long, all right? Because remember, it's up to what, 15 decimal places. So just to kind of bring this into context, let's just take a look at some numbers and what the equivalent date would look like. Okay, let me just move these. So we're okay with that so far? So just some examples. So if you have the number, let's say positive 36295.0, okay, what date and time is that equivalent to? I'm just gonna use short date. So that is equivalent to 5-15-99-12 o'clock a.m. Okay. If we're using the 12 hour format. If it was 24 hour format, it would be 0000000. zero, 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 zero. Okay. Uh, sorry, that should have been forward slashes. My bad. Oops. Like that. Okay. So you can see the positive number here is this state, the decimal is this time. Okay, does that make sense, everybody? Okay. All right. Yeah, so 12, in 12-hour 12 format, what we usually use, it's this. But number point zero is what? In 24-hour format, zero, 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 zero. Okay. Yes, PM, exactly. This is, exactly, exactly. So this is just in 24-hour format here. Yeah. Okay. So if I have, I'm going to give you a really long decimal number here. 
zero. So the positive, so this is a zero point. What did I write down here? Four, five, four, six, five, two. And then I have eight sevens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay, so a lot of, a lot of digits after the decimal. Okay. So think about this. I'm not even going to give it to you. If the if this part on the left is zero, what date is that? That is correct, exactly. So in short date format, that's what? 12 slash 31st slash 1899. And this time I'm going to give to you, obviously, okay, <laughs> is um, one, I should do this, 0107 p.m. Okay, so it's 107 p.m. But that, again, is just to show you this part is the date and this part is the time. And it's stored as a number, as a, as a floating point decimal number.